most of Jordan, especially the southern part of Jordan, is certainly considered a semi-arid region. Actually, more between semi-arid going well into an arid kind of zone. Um, by semi-arid, usually Mediterranean climatologists understand as anything under 200 millimeters worth of rainfall. Now, southern Jordan is actually well below that right now. What happens is that you have uh, very long dry spells during most of the year. Um, in fact, around you know the time that our our, ex our field work is carried out between Ju June and July, temperatures are you know at least between 40 degrees Celsius, which I'm not sure how that translates into Fahrenheit, but you know you can figure that it's it's way beyond 40. So you know you can look at the statistics. But uh, for you know for the most of the year, there's absolutely no rain. Then sometime in the in the fall towards the winter time, you get some flash floods. And this is a this is a persistent problem that this region has the entire Levant actually is that you get a lot of rain very quickly coming through, which floods the you know the floodplains, creating this very deep cuts into the you know to the region which are known as wadi, which are pretty much translatable as as valleys, and what you have is the water is gushing through very quickly. You know it rains for a good few hours and then it stops. So then everything turns dry again. And uh, it, I know it's a, it's a big problem nowadays for, for the Bedouin living in the region because they're not in, as in tune with water catchment as, say, the Nabataeans or the Romans used to be back in the day because they're a mobile kind of people. They're not meant to sit in one permanent location. So it was never a major concern for them to you know, have hydrological um, capture areas like cisterns or wells and such. And so right now the water just kind of gushes through and goes away from the from the Petra region, and so it has a, it has a human problem, a human dimension to it right now, which of course is, is an issue for the Bedouins since they're being settled into you know forceful villages where they have to sit permanently for a while. But there's also the archaeological issue, which is more conservation-wise, is when you think about Petra, that's great. Archaeologists are uncovering big tracts of land, you know, they're uncovering big monuments, but how do we deal with this, you know, this enormous amount of water that suddenly gushes through the, the Sikh or Petra in general, and how do, how do we conserve these monuments, natural, archaeological, and both geological and, and nature? So I know that's a big question in Petra, and that's a big problem because the seasons are so distinct and so sudden and unpredictable.